10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tetris! 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 And it's off the grand finals between Fractal and Eric, our number one and two seeded players, breaking the record at 14 max outs during the qualifying period. Yeah, their rivalry and their records just speaking for themselves, serving as a premonition to this grand final that you're seeing unfold before your very eyes. Boom, Tetris for Fractal. Yep, and Fractal starting out with a strong... Uh, oh, look wow, at that old tuck. That was so nice, and he should be able to tuck that oh, in the there. Spin. Just like that. Spins and O tucks and oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, unfortunately for Eric, though, still a little bit of a, a not as clean of a field, but again, for Eric, it's not necessarily about uh, so much as the efficiency. We even heard in the interview afterwards, he said it himself, right? That his goal is to survive. Yeah. That if you, you just gotta count on the opponent making a mistake, that's his strategy. And that's what got him past Dog. And let's see if it'll be good enough to get him past Fractal. 69% Tetris rate versus 96% Tetris rate. Interesting numbers there for sure. At the palin palindrome numbers. Yeah. But Eric over here, upping his rate to 75%. Fractal still sitting on that 96%, so definitely has a scoring lead, but in the way that these games have been going, this lead is tenuous yeah. at best. This is just a really long runway buildup to what could possibly be a shocking finale, you know, post-29. The calm before the storm is what we're experiencing now, ladies and gentlemen. Eric versus Fractal, round one underway. Fractal up to a slight lead now, actually now up to a one Tetris lead with that Tetris just there. And again, Fractal, like I said, you can read the expressions yeah. on his face. If we're talking about like, you know, what the differences are between the players that could make a difference, you know, Fractal being animated and emotional and uh, expressive and Eric being, you know, sharp and focused and, you know, trying to go for, you know, possibly something like a perfect transition, right? So there's a bit of a personality difference in the two, but they're both super capable players and I can't wait to see how history unfolds in this matchup. Yep, and right now, Fractal still maintaining that early lead at 88% versus 78% in terms of Tetris rate. Halfway there to the transition now, the first transition for both players. I just uh, had to notice that you said halfway there and uh, Bon Jovi's living on a prayer is playing in the background. <laughs> that was not intentional and I oh, noticed that too actually. Halfway there. <laughs> oh, halfway to transition. <laughs> 74 lines, and it'll be exciting, I swear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get DMCA here on, on Twitch here, Chris. So I mean, we gotta. <laughs> uh, sorry, YouTube in advance. <laughs> uh, they probably have some kind of filter to take that out. I hope. <laughs> Okay, Fractal having to take Jeez. some doubles there. Yeah, and he was at a 90%. You know, he talked about, you know, getting the perfect transition, which he said that he has done before. He just hasn't been able to do it on camera. But again, oh, here we go. Perfect, oh, perfect clear. Boom, perfect clear for Fractal. Yeah, now Eric's got to watch out. It's going to send about like 16 lines of junk over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, a little bit of awkward situation here for Fractal now. He's becoming a little bit long bar reliant. Actually, going to oh, be able wow, to clear look that. At that, <laughs> that shift just so precise, like feeling like frame perfect. Ah, frame perfect there. Oh, there it is. Finally, the J piece. And look at that. Boom. Tetris for <laughs> Fractal. And boom, Tetris for Eric now. And you can see. <laughs> yep. And we hear the Tetris theme song from the DJs here. Shout out to them here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Been putting on the music for us all 
weekend long. Yeah, I love it. Just uh, just that mix of like gaming music and like kind of a lot of 80s music and dance music is just, uh, it's been electrifying here. And hopefully you don't get DMCA'd for having it in the background. <laughs> Yeah, Fractal up to a one Tetris lead now. Both players in a drought. Nice. Building up high. Let's wow. see what happens here. Fractal is just really going for that Tetris. He was waiting, but it's a 23-piece drought right now. Actually, both of the players are going through the drought yep. right now. And this drought is not ending. It is up to 38 pieces right now. Okay, Eric can get to the for Fractal. So yeah, both players uh, navigating the drought and actually hitting transition as they came out of it. So I don't think anybody can blame me for mentioning RNG this time because that was brutal. Yeah, you never want to mess around with RN Jonas. <laughs> it's like I always said, right? Jonas is the one now who's determining what pieces we get. Crowd really getting into it here in 2022. I love this right now. We're getting players oh, chatting on both sides. By Fractal. That's going to be a burn off the top for Fractal. Yeah, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem here. He should be able to get through that. If he, Oh, that's perfect nice. right there. And that T-piece nice. is going to be a beautiful that's burn. Exactly, the kind of solve you need. However, that has dropped him down to about 70%, which means he's right there with Eric now. Both of them are at about the same Tetris rate That's now right. again. That's right, we are neck and neck. And again, that probably favors Eric right now, just because we know about his survivability. But again, Fractal, a lot of the times we haven't seen, had to see how far he can go with the survivability because usually he was ahead by the time we were in the 29s and then his opponent would top out. We know that Fractal can also play very far. That's how he also managed to get those 14 max outs early. Yeah, these are gonna be monster scores. They're both at 83, 888 through 838,000 plus points, neck and neck here at 185 lines. Man, the piece placement right now from Eric is so smooth. Yeah, both players just putting on display excellent placement <laughs> decisions and just being able to maintain their stacks and aggression. And, and I love the multitasking from the players in years past. We've had Joseph yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see Fractal singing along with the music in the background. Again, that's oh, one wow. Of Last second adjustment by Fractal there. Nice. Max and out by Fractal. Uh, there it is. Double max out. Double max out. Level and again, 26 and 27. It's one of the most beautiful things about playing Tetris is just kind of the Zen mode. That's why these players can talk to each other, hang out, you know, talk to the commentators or just sing music in the you background. Know, I do notice that players that have fun perform better. You know, if you're not too stiff and not too. I don't know, stress? I, I think there's yeah. something to that. And for both sure. Tetris are at both Tetris for Fractal. Tetris is raining down here. We're about to hit level 29. Oh, a triple right there from Eric. But again, I mean, if that's the case, right, that relaxation, that might actually be an advantage in yeah. Fractal's side. Because again, like we said, you can see Fractal's emotion on his face. He's yep. always at the Double kill screen. Time. Fractal up a little bit high. He's going to have to burn down. Oh, but it looks like it was part it. of the plan. Oh, no, no. Good, good. He's waiting that for another eye piece. Gets there it is, a triple, a triple, and then a single, a single, and a double, yep. and he's back All down. Right. Here we are with the double kill screen speeds. Who will survive? I mean, this music that we're hearing in the background is so fitting right now. <laughs> okay. No major trouble yet. Both players weathering this onslaught of speed from level 29. And again, they're so close in score right now. Basically, there there's no lead, essentially speaking. Who yeah, Fractal is gonna just survive barely this? up right here. Okay. Eric, oh, look at that beautiful Whoa. play right there. A double, a double. Oh, Fractal with Tetris ready for a moment. Takes a triple, and that's gonna widen the lead for Fractal. So we are experiencing here a new situation. Uh-oh. Here we go. 
A little bit awkward situation now for Fractal. And again, trying to stay calm throughout this, but oh. Yeah, wanting to drill back down into oh. safety. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. so he's back down. He still has that gap over there. He's exposed the hole. There we go. Yep. Got through there and clean, clean field again. Yep, clean. And Eric, of course, is just maintaining this clean field this yeah. entire time. Both players capable of playing post kill screen on display here. What it's really coming down to is when a hole is formed or there's a misdrop of any kind, can the player resolve it quickly? Right, and again, we've said it before, it is so, oh my goodness, see, so easy to have a gap just kind of spiral out of control. Yeah. But look how calm these players are! Yeah, both They're both players. back down to the bottom of the field! That's right. Both players capable of taking any mistake and resolving it as best as they can, and that's what you need to do here. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, triple. triple. Where's that line? Oh, that's just for Fractal. And a 1.3. A 1.3 for Fractal now. A, a Tetris into level 39. Wow. And uh, we have a double 1.3. We are here in uncharted territory. We knew records were gonna be broken, and now this oh. is it. This is everything being shattered. This is, like I said, I said it before the match started, strap in because we are gonna get some long matches here, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. No matter what the outcome is, we are all gonna win because this is some of the best Tetris. Oh my goodness, Eric answering back. With the level 42 Tetris. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fractal still up by 32,000 points, what? maintaining this lead. A little bit of an awkward board here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Burning back through. down. Burning That's what you through. need to do. Okay. The, the holes were in an awkward position. It made it a little bit weird, but look at this. Nice. Fractal clean. all the way back down again. This is ridiculous! <sighs> Only two key players capable of this in the world are now battling each other. And we can only ask, who will survive this onslaught? Okay, a little bit of a misdrop right there from Fractal, but we've seen himself be able to get out of these situations. And look at this, burning all the way through down again. 1.5 for Fractal, up by 40,000 points. I mean, I would say Eric has some catching up to do, but, you know, that's not what's going on here. This is awesome! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> okay. Crowd Both really into now. it. Both of them with a little bit of awkward Left boards here. Left side needs a long bar. Both of them need to do some cleaning right now. Long bar comes little, Okay, gets it open. Wow! Look at that movement by Fractal surviving oh, that. Oh! Oh! Really oh out of okay. We've got to chase out. out! We've got to chase out! out. 30,000 point chase down. Oh, Eric looking dangerous. Okay, 24,000 left. Oh, oh that left a side. Misdrop. That left a side might be a misdrop. Oh, no, oh, no, no, he plugged it up. Okay, can he, he open it, it up? Oh, my God, he's stuck in it! He takes the first round. 48 to 47 levels, 1.5 each. We have three over 3 million points between these two players. That was game number one. That was just the first shot fired in a war between Tetris Titans. And Eric, who many predicted being able to last forever, actually was not able to complete the chase down. Fractal getting on the board with that first win. I am at a loss for words. I cannot describe what we are seeing here. This is absolutely just the most amazing Tetris play I've ever seen in my life. And that was only game one. We have more games to go. Are the players ready for game number two? Thumbs All right. Up by both. Down from 10, right. everybody. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, Tetris! Yeah, once we've seen how much play that they had on level uh, 29, level 18 looks absolutely just serene and peaceful and calm. Yeah, I mean, you have to ask, like, are they even going to be capable of topping out anywhere near that level? Because this is just the buildup to that, it seems. Did you, did you see Eric over there, like, trying to ex like stretch his <laughs> wrist a little bit? Okay, so Eric up to just a slight lead. But they're gonna both bang down Tetris's when the long bars come because that's what you do. And this is the whole situation again. You know, the way that Fractal was playing, you know, Eric, he has been surviving and winning off of staying calm, surviving just like he said. But even in that situation with that chase down, he felt the pressure and was actually caught with a, a, a couple of unfortunate pieces. And sure enough, the chase down didn't happen. Yeah, that's all it takes. You have to be able to manage your stack, even at those high speeds, and ensure your survival. And that takes laser sharp focus, and also just being flexible enough and be able to make those decisions on the fly within frames of each other. Okay, Eric actually still with the 100% Tetris rate. Oh, okay, oh. finally gets the burn. Remember, <laughs> commentator curse. But hey, that could be a good thing. I mean, you don't want to sacrifice your stack for the flex, but. <laughs> and I love this. You can see right now, Fractal thinking about that prize money. Definitely trying to dream on right now and take that. You know, when Sharky and I were competing, we were talking about like this, you know, like the bingo card for, for Tetris championships. Mm -hmm. And you could have things like, you know, uh, perfect transition like well, if it happens yeah. oh, oh, oh right gotcha like crazy stuff right like perfect transition mm -hmm. or you know column one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um tetrises so and now i mean did you have over three million points scored between both players on that card because that's what we got uh -oh. last game yeah yeah that's gonna be another suggestion for the bingo card of course and also a perfect clear that happened too but yeah just uh highlight reel here being filmed by these two players performances here in real time at ctwc 2022 and look at this both players at essentially 90 percent tetris rate halfway there to the transition fractal building up high Ooh. And again, this is what rolling allows you to do. The no fear style of playing. You can play so high up, but Eric, oh, oh, oh okay, 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 hang on a second. Building a spire, getting high. That's gonna burn, that's gonna burn. Okay. He needs an eyepiece now. Is well, solvable. There's something that can drop over there. Okay, staying alive. Where's the long bar? Where's the long bar? Yep, not gonna risk it. He's gonna open up, perfect. There he goes, a triple, and he's gonna stay alive here. Yep, everything is fine. Oh, man. And there we go. Open field. Now, where's that long bar? There it is. Boom. Tetris for Eric. And boom, Tetris for Fractal. So Fractal just up to kind of like a half Tetris lead there from Eric's burning there. But you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you play aggressive and end up having to do a little bit of digging as a result. All right, Eric doing a little bit of cleaning over there after setting up that hang. Got himself set up for a Tetris here. Fractal, however, still sitting at that 83% Tetris rate. Boom, Tetris for Fractal. Mm, nice placement by Fractal, just to give that proper slot for the eyepiece. Meanwhile, Eric just stacking up those Zs, putting them where they belong. <laughs> so many Zs. Yep. Oh, man. GZ Espers, but players, you know, having accommodating stacks, not a problem. Both of them now with nice, clean, neutral fields here, ready for yep. a Tetris, and boom, Tetris, oh, for, Tetris Eric. for Eric. Yep. 
see if Fractal gets one, and boom, Tetris for Fractal. Already both players pass 500,000 points, 529 for Eric and 542, now 565 for Fractal. Like amazing transition scores on the way as we approach level 19 transition. Fractal looking for that S piece. No, nope, gonna use the Z, the T instead. And we see Eric in kind of a a, 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 a dodgy position here. Okay, he's freed up the, the gap again. He needs that J piece. Mm -hmm. Where's the J piece? No, oh, he's, he's not gonna wait for it. So he's okay, just gonna go ahead and do burns. some burning here. Yeah. So yeah, that'll allow Fractal to extend the lead, but I think Eric saw the transition oh, coming. Oh, he can get a dirty yeah, Tetris he a dirty. here. That looks like the plan. Oh no, triple now set up, but back to the Tetris set up. Yeah. Oh, oh one, gave up on it. Part. Again, with only one next piece, it, you cannot, like, you have to react to the piece that shows up in the window. And uh, most of the time, that's not enough time for you to make the adjustment at the last second. And boom, oh, dirty Tetris for Eric. But still gets a dirty Tetris anyway. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Not a problem for rolling, in my opinion. <laughs> right, it's gonna be in one of those. Everything is fine. It's like <laughs> Whoop, the dash. There we go. <laughs> the dash player's house is on fire. The tapping <laughs> player's house is smoking. But the roller's house is just fine. Oh, nice tuck right there. Gonna do a little bit of burning now. Where's that long bar? He needs a long bar. It's not showing up. Yep, so just go for the bird. He doesn't have a Tetris set up as a result, though. It's just a triple on the side. So he can't go for that. A long bar off to the side. Had to take a couple of triples, but he is set up for the Tetris and boom. But it has dropped his Tetris rate down to about 60% right now. Fractal still at 78%. Yeah, so Fractal he... with a significant lead now. 157,000 points. So Fractal looking really good here in this set of players, both capable of doing the 14 maxes and quals. But again, if they, if Fractal can keep this lead all the way up to level 29, then that actually means that the chase down. Yeah. Eric will be forced into a chase down no matter oh. what. And it almost looks inevitable that both players are gonna be experiencing 29 play for who knows how long. So the vendor hall just got their three minute warning and uh, we are in overtime for something. Uh, so we will see what happens, how long this prolonged chase down slash kill screen play will put us for our tournament time. Yeah, and, 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 and appropriately they are playing My Name is Jonas in the background over here. Ooh. So once again, shout outs to Jonas. Yeah. We all miss you and love you very much. Love you, miss you, mean it, Jonas. All that we do for the CTWC now is, uh, you know, in the spirit of Jonas and trying to do what he was doing to make everybody in this community, you know, bring them joy and great competitive spirit and create new generations of fans for the future of the sport. And yeah, it's allowed us to get to this point. So many new young players coming in here, showing us the way that NES Tetris can be played in a way that nobody probably ever dreamed. Yeah, Jonas and then uh, Joseph being a great ambassador. And now Dog. Dog actually really inspiring a new generation. Oh yeah. And rem okay, so 1.2 for Fractal, transition. double kill screen. And double max out. But again, this is this Here we go. is a chase down. That's a hundred and eighty-six thousand point chase down. Now, yeah. again, if anybody can do it, it is Eric. But if Fractal can survive and last long enough and keep putting more and more and more pressure, yeah. Right now, the favor is oh. it, the round. The match is in the favor of Fractal for sure with that big point lead wow. and the survivability on top. And you don't often see Eric in a situation like this. I mean, there's chase downs and survivability, but then there's 180,000 point chase down, which is a different story altogether. Oh man, can he get the eyepiece over there? Is that gonna happen? Oh, that lowering right there with there that is double. The triple. Yeah. Still maintaining that 196,000 point lead now. 
Oh, split burn. I love that. Now he needs an eyepiece over there. there Ooh, nice triple. So yeah, Fractal actually maintaining some aggression. Eric's getting mostly singles here, but Fractal getting some triples in there too. But actually, the Eric's strategy of singles is actually has the strength just to keep it low to the bottom, but actually did not did not keep it down close to the bottom there is having to burn to get back down. Oh, Both players now having to clear. Getting dodgy nice. there on nice Fractal's burn. side. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh, man. here we go. So 187,000 point chase down for Eric. So Eric now knows this. He doesn't have to play aggressive. It's never going to get any faster. Remember, he just can play very, very safely right now. So now it's a game with the RNG, RNG Jonas or whatever you want to call it. Can Eric make those pieces fall in a way that will allow him to survive to complete the chase down? <sighs> oh, that's like a Tetris. That's gonna help Boom, a lot. Tetris for Eric. A 40,000 point Tetris. Oh. Ooh. Some dependencies were forming, but Eric handles it marvelously. Oh, not a all problem. All the way back down Too to the easy. bottom. Look at this just playing very, very safe right now. 87,000 for a chase down. Let's cut it down more than half. Well on the way. The road is long, but Eric really Oh, oh my goodness. And here we go. 69,000. All Fractal can do is watch right now. <laughs> yeah, Eric just keeping it down close alive. to the bottom. What an appropriate song. Are they? I swear they're watching right now. <laughs> they must be. And they're playing us uh, still alive oh, from Portal. 36,000. 36,000. Oh, nice 23,000. 18,000. Oh, the single. 15. 13. 13. Four. Four. Yes! So we are 1-1. One, one. The 189. Thousand point chase down, including a Tetris at level 20 speeds. We are one and one. The match points are neck and neck as we go into game three. And uh, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, I believe, has officially closed. So. <laughs> We are going to figure out uh, what we're going to do here. <laughs> Thumbs up. I think, are, we, right. are we ready to go? Uh, are okay, ready. Okay, the all lights right, are on, oh, but wait, we are wait. ready to go. Oh, we're ready to go? Okay, let's do it then. All right. All right. Starting from 10. Sure. All right. Let's go. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tetris! <laughs> And oh my goodness, the crowd has completely filled the area behind us. And again, this is one of the great things about being back on the show floor here. Remember the last time we were in one of the side rooms and yeah. in the standing room only, we ran out of space. This year we put ourselves back into the main ballroom. So everybody here is just sitting here watching the most amazing Tetris action that you, you could ever see. Yeah, everybody here left at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo probably has their eyes on this very match. Not as, you know, the people here are not able to buy stuff anymore. <laughs> but one thing that they'll be able to put their money on is one of these players walking away with a Tetris World Championship. Yeah, who, who needs to buy anything right now? You're going to build memories here watching this, and that's more valuable than anything. That's right. Also, donate to the Matcherino. <laughs> We're up to $12,191 on that Boom Matcherino. Tetris Boom Tetris Refractal. But yeah, <laughs> thanks so much to, to all those that have donated to our Matcherino. Okay. Primal Tetrises. 
And you can see right now, Fractal again, with a stronger uh, start here, with a near 70% Tetris rate. But again, it's Eric's survivability. That is the store, that's the story here. Okay, Eric with a slight miss drop there. We'll probably be able to fix it in yeah. a jiffy. Chris actually noticed that he was uh, dazzing for just a little bit, actually, probably to give his hands a little bit of a rest. Oh, interesting, because now we're talking about post-29 survival for prolonged periods of time. This could become an endurance test, even right. for rollers. Yep. It's still a little bit, you know, more physically demanding than Daz was. And so we've seen that from a lot of the hybrid players back before rolling was a thing. We would see That's the right. players start with Daz and then switch to hyper tapping. Yeah, that could be a new strat. You know, in this next, next generation of players, you know, you got to get prepared for, you know, the 30 minute post 29 marathon. <laughs> Start off with Das, and then yeah. you can roll for 30 minutes. You can see it again right now. Eric has gone back to the Das. Very interesting. We'll see if that plays out. I mean, that's actually something that, you know, I think Fractal's got to keep in mind over here. You know, if he can feel like maybe perhaps he can... It's like a, it's like the, the Muhammad Ali strategy, right? Just dance, dance, dance until you tire the opponent out, and hopefully you can that's take right. him out that way. Yeah, there could be new... Betas on the horizon, you know, uh, <laughs> learn all three styles and uh, switch to the one that uh, applies in any particular situation. You're on level 18, just das. Maybe 19, you'll tap, and then 29 and above, you'll do rolling. And just to preserve that finger strength right there. Again, hyper tapping, definitely the most physically intensive of all the techniques. But rolling, as we as we mentioned, you know, there's a reason why they wear their gloves and everything like that. It's just to, you know, keep yourself from smacking on the back of the controllers. Yeah. Gloves or lotion. I actually kind of want to look into the lotion thing because I never thought of that before. <laughs> Thanks, Fractal. Now, boom, Tetris for Fractal. Not quite set up for a Tetris yet is Eric. He needs to... Okay, there we go. Finally set up for the Tetris. And now he just needs the long bar. Again, we're a little well over halfway through mm -hmm. the uh, first oh, phase. For Eric. The, the level 18 phase. Yeah, that's not going to be a Tetris. So he tried to adjust at the last second. And now he needs to... Ooh. Oh, perfect, perfect, actually. The S into the O was perfect right there to fill out that right, the left side. And there right we up. go, boom. Tetris for Eric, double line bar dependent now. Similar situation to the other rounds. Fractal up to an early lead. Now 95,000 points. So we could see that the same kind of thing happen before where there's a massive chase down that Eric just can't complete. But we will see. I mean, we're one and one on that chase down right now. Again, yeah, that know, the second chase down was successful. So, wow, it, I mean, it's just so evenly matched between these two players. It's amazing. So when we talk about what the strategy here, it, fractal strategy is to play efficient, get far enough, and then try to uh, do level 29 play to the point where he builds an insurmountable chase down. But again, if 189,000 wasn't enough for the yep. chase down last time, oh, what is enough? <laughs> right. So yeah, we've seen both outcomes so far, and that's why we're 1-1. One, one. Fractal relotioning the hand. Wow, one-handed level 18 play. No problem. Let's go, Fractal! The fans just loving it here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a taste of the fans just 
loving classic Tetris, and both Eric ICX and Fractal with massive fan bases here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo CTWC 2022. <laughs> Again, this is the beauty of having this event live once again here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yeah, the atmosphere is just electric and very special and you just can't get it anywhere else. And everybody that's here just always, you know, they'll say that they, you know, they'll come out to one of these and they'll just keep coming back because they love to be here here at these live events. And both of these players right now have already gotten into the transition and it is wild how much level 19 speed just feels like such a calming situation right now. Calm before the storm, but yeah. Fractal still maintaining a lead now, 85,000 points. Similar story to that first round with a big lead. You can feel the calm before the storm at the start of the round. <laughs> And the Tetris for Eric and Tetris for Fractal. 75% Tetris rate for Fractal, 63% for Eric. Again, you can definitely tell what the strategies are between the two players, how they're trying to win this. Fractal trying to play more efficiently, get a higher score, mm -hmm. survive as long as possible at second transition. And Eric trying to just stay close enough that he can outlast him in the end. Slight hang by Eric, but nothing untuckable. Able to fix a little bit about that. Oh, there you nice. Go. Nice solve and there by Eric. Getting oh, rid of that. This drop. Be able to tuck that in there as well. Close to a double max out again. So Fractal with the max out on level 26. Eric right behind. Tetris away from maxing out. Yep. And there we go. Just needs one long bar and boom. Tetris for Eric. Double max out. Level 28. Thank you, Mr. Bidwell. Here we go. Another Tetris for Eric, and he is trying to just stay as close as possible. Like I said, 10% down in terms of Tetris rates, but that is fine. Okay. And there we go, he's Level transitioned 29. first. And Fractal right behind will reach level 29 with this next Tetris. Now what's interesting about this is Fractal's only 110 120,000 points ahead, but he hasn't transitioned yet, so his lead is actually pretty significant. Ooh, up Ooh. a little high for 29. Let's see if this works out. Needs a long bar now. Oh, careful! Tetris. Tetris. Tetris! Boom, Tetris for Fractal. And again, he is 10 lines behind, so that 160, he's actually probably has a higher lead in this game, essentially, than he did in the last game. So, you know, we said 189,000 wasn't enough. Is this lead gonna be enough for Fractal, or maybe Fractal can actually outlast Eric here? Yeah, Fractal's still alive, so active player, active threat. Both players need to survive as long as possible by whatever means necessary. Ooh, some holes forming in Fractal Stack. Wants to oh, burn down. Nice flat burn over there. Gonna get okay. through there, nice. Just needs to clear out that exactly side, and there we go. To Back to a normal neutral screen here. Fractal completing the mini dig. That's what you need to do on level 29. Perfect clear. Another perfect clear. almost 300 lines for both players again. So I've heard from High Command a very exciting announcement. We are allowed to play until midnight here at the Portland Retro Game Expo. So if Eric ICX and Fractal can play level 29, for another seven hours. <laughs> Everything will be fine. And double color! Best of seven! Best of seven! People are chanting best of seven, but we'd have to chant can't change rule set. Blah, 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 blah. Can't change rule set. But you know what? With the midnight that we know now, maybe next year. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe next year. Yep. Oh, man. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric and Fractal now in position to crash the game in order to close this out. Bidwell, Are we when did the game him? crash? What's that? Like 1,200 lines? Okay, okay. okay. No All problem, right, guys. no problem. We're no, close. No, no worries, <laughs> Eric and Fractal. <laughs> and can you imagine that you would have ever seen this here? Two players post level 29 just playing and continuing to clear. Oh. Oh. Okay, nice. Nice actually, slap burns. Oh, oh. beautiful. Nice one. Back by down. Fractal. Yep, all the way back down. Eric now with a little bit of traffic on the board. Yeah, Eric needs, okay, perfect right there, but now he needs something for the right side, uh, the left side over there, and he's got it. The T piece. Ibis. Ooh, nice, solves by Eric. There we go. Eric Both back down into safety. Players down at the bottom here, but again, Eric still at about 10 lines ahead pace right now. So again, that plus 143 is not a true 143. It's gonna be a little bit higher than that. But again, it actually might not even be as high as that 189 from last time, but that's why Fractal is not giving up. He's just going to keep playing this out and make this as long as possible. Yeah, both players just a showcase of survival skills here. Anytime a hole flowing in that stack, just taking care of it right away. That's what you need to do to survive at these speeds. Wow, look at that spin on that line. So we've got a 1.5 on, on fractals. fractals. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to get another over 300,000 points game between the two players? 3 million, sorry. Yeah, looks like it. It We're just doesn't sound way. right when I say 3 million. It doesn't sound right. And yeah, our colors are about to cycle again. So doing laps now on the color palette. There we go. What level is it where the colors just start glitching out? Uh, Bidwell sitting next to you, he'll know. 1320 for <laughs> messed up colors. <laughs> Will we see messed up colors here in the CTWC 2022? Yeah! I mean, it's happened before courtesy of Eric. So, you know, he's here ready to try to do it again, potentially. Oh, and we're almost, oh, actually, double level 50. Double level 50. Double. Okay, Eric with some, okay, good solves. Open up again. Yeah, the lead is going down just a tiny bit. But again, still over uh, 10 lines ahead is Eric. And we do have over 3 million points now between the two players. Yep. This is definitely a record in terms of number of total points between both players here at a CTWC match. Oh, Eric in trouble. Getting the line clear to get that left side safe again. And it Oh, Cinderella Tetris forming. And that left side looking a little bit more dangerous. Okay, it manages to burn it down. Eric back into safety. According to Bidwell, that we've already reached a point where Fractal would have rolled the score over on the uh, original cart. How is this all gonna end? <laughs> <laughs> 1.6 for both players now. Yep. We are at 3 mil 3.2 3.3 million between the two players. So indeed it does look like the test of uh, endurance is here. What will win? Glove or lotion? <laughs> Glove or lotion. <laughs> That'll be a new t-shirt for CTWC 2023. <laughs> Glove or lotion, what's your weapon? <laughs> 1.8.
And almost double level 60 as well. And there, oh, not quite yet. There it is, double level 60. You know, what's most impressive about this is both players seem to get to this level of warm-up at the same time to be able to execute on this super long post-29 play. What, what were we saying about that midnight time? Yeah. <laughs> Can we ask an yeah, extension like on that? Six as well? to seven hours. Yeah. Endurance Tetris is here, at least for the year with this rule set. So. And again, if you're watching this on stream right now, yes, it's true. The speed will never go any faster than this. Are we going to get a two million points here for Fractal? Oh my... Getting awfully close. 100, yeah, 100, Eric 100, has cut the lead down to 95,000 points. It's actually catching up just by normal chase down. Yeah, it seems that Fractal's aggression papers off a bit, a little bit after 29. What the Tetris rates? <laughs> yeah, the Tetris rates are falling. Are plummeting, like, plummeting yeah. at this point. Man. Yeah. Two, two million. million. First two million uh, CTWC oh, oh, oh. match. Hang on a second, guys. Uh oh. Fractal needing some clears. Oh. Needs a long oh. bar. Cover the well. Needs another one. Wow. Wow. Boom. Get rid of the Fractal. A Tetris at level 67. A Tetris at level 67. And look at that lead and jump. Got... All the way up to 190,000 point lead. Oh, look at Eric. Eric answering back with a Tetris. Another one. A Tetris at level 70. At level 69. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a game of chicken now, getting Tetrises on this high level. And Fractal needs to get burned down to the safety. Left side's gonna be a problem. Oh, Left side's a problem. Oh God. Eric, 77,000 77, point, point chase, chase down. down. Can you imagine getting 2.189 million? And that might not be enough. 50,000. 50. 29. 21, 21 18, 18, 15, 15 12, 9, 2, 2 single and Chase Ben Eric, his strategy of survival is still holding true. Eric ICX is one game away from being able to win. He's up 2-1 here in Grand Finals. What a match! And that definitely sets the record at the longest CTWC round ever held. Highest scores, highest level, highest everything. We are making history here. And it looks and we're like we're good to go. go. All, All right, right, let's do this. Starting from 10, once again. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Tetris! <laughs> so we are at most two rounds away from determining who will be the world champion. And it will be a new world champion. According to Mr. Bidwell, this will be the first time that the trophy is leaving California or Texas. This is uh, definitely a lot of record-breaking stuff. A lot of unprecedented results in many different ways. Oh, it's a nice burn from Fractal, but as you can see right now, uh, yep. starting 60% is Eric and Fractal at about 70%. Getting a drought early on, but finally out of it. Tractable banging down a Tetris with that. 
Another Tetris and boom Tetris for Eric right after. And again, if you're fractal, you just gotta wonder to yourself right now, like, what kind of lead is gonna be good enough? I mean, like I said. Well, right at the end of that really long level 29 uh, kill screen play, I did notice an increase in aggression started sort of like this Tetris game of chicken where they're starting to build up Tetrises and fire back against each other because the points that they were getting for them were, you know, they went up almost 100,000 points per Tetris. And that is, when you see the score go up like that, it's like, it's like you kind of want to match it. You know, Fractal hitting that Tetris first, and then Eric hitting one, and then Fractal actually increased the aggression. So we did see kind of some trading of aggression at the end there, and uh, maybe that's what led to Fractal's top out. So um, we'll see how that plays out in this next round. Eric, of course, having to do a little bit of burning, you can see over there, trying to get to that hole over there in roll, row number three. He's going to need an eyepiece to get in there unless he can do some clever burning right now. Actually, he has Eric's himself dirty. a dirty Tetris set up here. But oh, that uh, S piece was, oh, perfect timing. Oh, dirty Tetris and look at that, Eric. and it opened up the well as well. So there you go. Yeah, nice combo there for Eric, getting that dirty Tetris into the Tetris. My fractal's built up for a couple now. Nice one down. Not gonna be able to get that dirty Tetris over there. Just gonna have to settle for the triple. Okay. <laughs> so Eric now having to do some burns. Yeah. It gets a spin in the middle. Not something you see too often. Yeah, it's just a really awkward set of pieces right now. He set himself so many uh, canyons and, and, and valleys here. And you yeah. see right now his Tetris rate dropping down to 50. And to be fair, Fractals is uh, only at 60 right now. Again, remember, in the past few games, he's been consistently up at like 70 or 80 range. Yeah, Fractal's stage. still in the lead. It is actually building upon it now. So we'll see. Now that Eric's out of that mini dig, if the score is going to... If Fractal's lead will actually increase as it did in previous rounds. Go and boom Tetris for Fractal. Okay. But yeah, it has been pretty consistent seeing Eric being the one on the end of the chase down, having to make up the points and doing so successfully twice. One more win to take the championship, and Fractal needing to win this round to stay in the match. Already, both of these players are going to be taking home gold or a silver J. And a good chunk of that Matcherino money as yeah. well. So again, that Matcherino money is still there if you want to donate to that. Eric having a little bit of an awkward build here again. It's kind of an unfortunate pieces right there. Haven't been very friendly to burning, so he's had to take a bunch of singles just now. So I will say one thing. Eric having to do all these burns throughout the round. I mean, that's kind of like a warm-up for what you need to do post-29. It's true. Burn those signals and get your stack under control as low as possible. You know, that's part of that skill set. Don't think Eric meant to rotate that uh, one L piece uh, that many times. I'm sorry, it was a J piece. Oof, the stack is getting high. There's the I piece finally. Eric holding out. Boom, Tetris for Eric. Getting rewarded. And the Tetris is on both sides again there. Fractal's lead still up there, 93,000 points. But again, this is what we've been seeing this yep. whole entire Grand Finals. Fractal with this ginormous lead, but then he ha the pressure to survive during level 29 play is so high for Fractal. I mean, and it's wild that, you know, they just transitioned to level 19 and it's like almost a non-event at this point, you know? Well, it's only a non-event until someone gets a top out from it. <laughs> it says that we're not used to seeing, or we don't get to see these players get topped out from it. But I am going to keep my eyes on Eric and see if uh, you know, the strat of kind of like being warmed up for dig mode might actually be a thing. 
because that's what you need to do in 29. Fractal, I mean, getting hit with a drought right now. Oh, does manage to get the Tetris finally. But had to do a little bit of cleaning right now. He's looking for that J piece. Okay, actually gonna clean it out like that. Uh oh, a little bit of a misdrop. Might have a... That way of digging that out easily, yeah. but uh, it's going to create some holes. It's a dirty triple right there. A dirty double, actually. Looking for that J. Nope, yeah, gets and, a T and, and again, blues it out. I mean, we're just sitting here doing the commentating, and I can tell you right now, if, you know, for these players, I can imagine how fatigued they yeah, feel right Yeah, just now. even the hands right now. Like, yeah. It's going to become a factor at some point in time. And not only physical fatigue, but the mental fatigue as yeah. well. It's hard Ooh, to explain okay, just up tuck. How, how mentally draining a, a match like this can be. It's like when you see, it's like when you see one of those... Uh, Wimbledon matches that, you know, because there's no tiebreaker in the last set of Wimbledon. You know, there was the very famous... <laughs> 99,000 point lead for Fractal now. So yeah, the story is unfolding similar to the previous rounds. Fractal ahead in points going into level 29. And again, a lead isn't a lead against Eric. And that is where the most dangerous part of Eric's play and his strategy comes. It just... It, it, no lead is good enough at this point. It really is about hoping that Eric uh, makes a mistake and tops out. Right, and maybe even having a really long round, uh, we will see if uh, what's happened comes into play over a long period of time. Yeah, the transition is coming. Fractal having a lot of holes looking like Type B. On, you can't survive Type B on 29, can you? Or can you? Let's find out. Fractal burning down somehow. Wow. Oh, that left side's impossible. I don't think it's and, gonna Oh happen. my goodness. And Eric ICX, 800 points. 800 and points. There it, it is. there it is, Eric ICX with the endurance strategy has become your 2022 CTWC champion. We have a new champion, Eric ICX. Madness, just complete utter madness between these two players. And Eric ICX literally outlasts the entire field to take CTWC. Maintaining composure and able to survive, gifting us that incredible round where both players post 29, setting all those records, destroying, I don't know, everything basically. Like I am seriously like lightheaded right now because of just how crazy this match is, I, I, I have no words for the intensity. That last match, the one previous to this one just now, yeah. with the over 4 million points scored total between the two players, you know, uh, again, even three years ago, if you said that, that would, like if someone traveled back in time and yeah. said, we're going to have a game of over 4 million oh, yeah, points, we nobody would yeah. believe you. You yeah. would just say, all right, somebody like, you know, uh, TAS, no, TASTED, or, you know, did a tool assisted speed run or something. Uh, but you know what? None of this would be possible without their amazing rivalry. Yes. And we are going to hear from the players themselves. Let's throw it over to Kingsman and hear from Fractal.
So, so Fractal, what do you want to talk about, man? I guess sharks are, be I guess sharks are better. I guess sharks are better for today. Fractal, obviously, tremendous effort today. You put forth the valiant effort. You've gone through all the emotions. You broke records. You, you broke CTWC. We've gone overtime. How are you feeling, buddy? Uh, I mean, I was the first person to get two million here, and it almost lasted a minute. <laughs> you know, obviously, winning a championship is important to every competitive player. But I think innovating a game, showing us that the impossible can be possible, is more important than anything. Do you feel like you have now revolutionized this sport? I didn't do anything, I just played, but... <laughs> <laughs> a while back, back when we were talking about maybe changing how we do competitive in an attempt to like encourage different t styles of stacking, I told Eric, we're gonna have a long game someday. And then we met in CTM and then I completely failed. <laughs> it was so sad, I, I blew the chance. We're here now, and like I actually like came through this time. So I am, I'm just really happy right now, and doing my best not to think about all the homework I have to do in the next two days. <laughs> well, hopefully your professor will give you a pass seeing what's going on right now. <laughs> Fractal again, a tremendous effort. You you've shattered records, you've revolutionized this sport. And I think the fan base here will tell you that you have fans for life now. So congratulations to you. Fractal, come and get your trophy. Congratulations. Thanks. Can I sell out now? Can I sell out? Okay, twitch.tv slash Fractal161. I am probably not going to stream because I have a lot of homework to do, but... You're holding too many things. Can I have a hodgeback? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No. All right, so here we are. Eric ICX, the new 2022 CTWC champion. <laughs> Eric, let's go in and discuss here. Obviously, Fractal, a more than formidable opponent for you took you to the limits again, over two million score in one game. Then you had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> How were you able to concentrate through that whole entire ordeal? I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I should have topped out so long ago. <laughs> well, you've shown the world that certainly perseverance pays off. Staying true to who you are, practicing every single day, Getting into a new play style certainly has now made you a champion. You follow along with the greats that have been out there. Jonas, Harry, Joseph, Dog. What does it mean to you to be up there with them? It means the world to me, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ever do it again, but just for this once, just to be up there, it's the best thing in the world. And this is the best day of my life so far. So, Eric, you sound like it may be unsure. This, obviously, you just mentioned, the greatest moment for you right now in your life. Do you maybe see yourself adding to that and becoming, you know, maybe a multi-time champion? Where do you see yourself maybe in a year from now? I don't know. I hope to be able to make it out here again. Don't know if I will. I probably will be able to, but nothing's certain. And, of course, I hope to be able to win again, but we're going to be seeing so much new talent in the next year, I think, that, honestly... I don't even know if the top six players are going to even be the same. Do you think, in your opinion, that we will ever see a game just like that between you and Fractal, now perhaps the greatest game of classic Tetris ever? Uh, I hope we don't, because this went way too long. <laughs> well, the crowd will probably tell you different. They absolutely loved it. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 world champion of classic Tetris, Eric ICX! Congratulations. 
James, Chris. Once again, just a round of applause for both Fractal and Eric ICX and all of the competitors here for CTWC. Amazing, amazing year. What an amazing show. So many amazing matches. So many records broken and just, uh, you know, Eric ICX says this is the best thing he's ever done. Well, being here at CTWC 2022, I really feel like it's the best thing I've done just to bear witness to this and to, to add anything whatsoever to this electric atmosphere of having a live event after three years and being able to commentate again with you and Sharky and everybody else. Absolutely. And again, remember, something like this can never happen without all of the sponsors that we have here. Of course, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, you know, Tetris Our Company home, themselves. Yeah. Tetris Company. So, yeah, Hyperkin, Geek Tropical, Premium Edition Games, Enhance, Mississippi Pizza, Power Bear Gummies, Honda, Honda. Mm -hmm. Total Radness, and of course, all of our Maturino, Maturino donors, donors. Who, whose uh, donations go directly to our competitors and inspire the next generation of of Tetris talent to yeah. come play and uh, become successful in their Tetris journey for the future. Yeah, 12.5, 12,500 dollars total for the Maturino. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody here for sticking around and watching the greatest Tetris ever. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us such a wonderful platform to share our excitement and enjoyment of this great game of Tetris for. 30 plus years now, and uh, for many, many more, inspiring new generations to compete, play, and uh, love this community. Absolutely. Again, if you guys love this, you know, there's so many ways to get yourself into Tetris. Wonderful community, wonderful people. Couldn't be happier to be involved. Yeah, in so many scene. people just coming out here, you know, they say just want to like hang out or something, or, or just qualify, or just commentate, and they go on to do such great things. I remember. Especially Game Scout came here a few years ago just to hang out and he just wanted to hang out with us. And now he's one of our best uh, content creators, period. I mean, didn't Eric say that? He was like, oh, I just wanted to come here and try to get top eight, try to qualify. And now he yeah. is the current reigning CTWC champion. Yeah. And uh, Sharky said he just came here to commentate, makes gold brackets, and <laughs> makes a statement for DAS going on into the future. So just uh, just people just reaching out a little bit, coming to the event, and just having the best time of their life. It'll stick with you forever, and you'll want to keep coming in the future and uh, be a part of this Tetris family and community. Yeah, so thank you, everybody at home, for watching. Thank you, everybody here for yeah, watching. Thank you for thank coming you. out to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Thank you for joining us on Twitch the, and in the, the future on YouTube. Thank oh my you, God. For everybody on the staff, for running this event. Adam, Vince, and Trey for making this show possible. You know, our, uh, our stewards, our commanders in chief, you know, making sure that the CTWC is this amazing event for all of us to enjoy. Uh, really, um, there may be some changes in the future. We don't know how it's going to play out, but I have faith that whatever decisions that they make will be the ones that will lead us to the best competitive matches going on. So, yeah. It's been such an honor commentating you with you, James. Thank you. So many years, it. and, uh, you know, we'll... we'll be looking forward to doing it again. Oh yeah, I've, I've looked forward to it for years to come. And again, you know, we have great people like Sharky here in Austin Sharky, and everybody yeah. doing this. Austin, but again, Van Weller. But again, you know, it's all about today is Eric, ICX's day. Yeah. Congratulations once again. Like I said, it's amazing to say that we have a new Tetris world champion in Eric ICX. Sharky. Go. All right, thank you guys. Uh, that's it for me. Any last words? I think uh, the action speaks for itself, and we've said all that we've need to. Uh, thanks again to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and uh, to everyone for following the Classic Tetris World Championships 2022. We'll see you next year. See us at the Qualifier Regionals, and uh, we'll have another great season of Classic Tetris. Boom, Tetris for you.